Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys a little bit of news on the Q-Pilot system and specifically the new Hue 3 GPS unit that's just been announced as well as some information on the Q-Black or what was known as the Pixhawk 2.1. Now before I get into this if you like what you see please do consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notifications bell next to it as well and select all to get updates on any videos that we release in the future. If you'd like to support the channel there are also links in the description to the Q-Pilot system from 3DXR and there's also a link to Patreon if you would like to support us on a monthly basis as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the new Hue 3 GPS unit. This is going to replace the Hue 2 and become the new standard model moving forward. Now the Hue series has been one of the best GPS units I have used. They're generally extremely reliable and they actually have features that you won't find on many other GPSs that are out there. The Hue 2 was one of the best moves forward that I've seen. That included CAN bus, it also had onboard IMU sensors and the Hue 3 is going to take things to the next level. Specifically, the Hue 3 is going to use the Ublox M8P chipset, which means it is RTK Rover compatible out of the box. Now, whilst this in itself isn't anything particularly special, what is special is the price. Because this is going to be the new standard model moving forward, they are going to be selling this for around $125. So that means for the price of a standard GPS unit, you are getting an RTK Rover compatible GPS unit for that price. And if you compare that to say the Hue Plus version 2 before, which was their last RTK Rover, you were paying closer to $300 for that one. Whereas now you're actually only going to be paying about $125 to have those same capabilities. Now the GPS unit itself has been totally redesigned. It is now both dust and water resistant, and it also has some upgraded sensors on board as well. Taking a closer look at the specs, as I said, it uses the Ublox M8P chipset. It supports all of the usual GPS constellations and it has an onboard STM32 F302 processor for custom applications for system integrators. It has the ICM20948 IMU sensor on board and it has a maximum navigation rate of 8 hertz. It is CAN bus capable out of the box and it has an operating temperature of minus 40 to plus 85 degrees C and it weighs just over 48 grams. Something else I want to mention as part of the Hue 3's redesign is that the safety switch appears to be gone. Now this means that you will need to use a separate safety switch if you do want to use one or not use one at all. Now calling it a safety switch isn't particularly the correct term for it in my opinion because having a button in the middle of your drone that you have to reach over your propellers for to turn off really isn't a safety switch in the end and also having a button that can accidentally disarm your aircraft in flight should say some water get into it isn't a particularly good idea either and many people have actually been disabling this because of concerns around it and again that's why we've seen Profi CNC move forward and remove this as people continue to actually change their behavior on how they build their drones and put other protections in place. Now, as I said, it's going to cost about $125 and frankly, it represents outstanding value. Now today you can order it from the Profi CNC website, but it should also be available from your nearest dealer such as 3DXR in the near future as well. Okay, next I want to quickly give you guys an update on the original Q Black Autopilot. Now the Black has been out a number of years now and since then the Autopilot system has actually expanded quite a lot. We had the Cube Green, the Cube Purple and then we had the new Cube Yellow and the Cube Orange which is the new standard model that you can see on the 550 there. And whilst these are the latest ones, the Cube Black was still available for everyone to use should they want to do it. And many companies and system integrators were still still using the Cube Black as part of their system. However, this week, Profi CNC and Hex have announced that the Cube Black standard is going to become obsolete. The reason for this is that the IMU sensors used on board are obsolete themselves and they are no longer available. Now, if you are a company that is still building drones based on the Cube Black, it is now time to consider moving over to one of the other Cube models, whether it be the Cube Yellow or the Cube Orange itself. Now, 
they have announced that there's going to be a little bit of a hybrid solution for people if they still insist on wanting the original FMU version because they're based on the F4 chipset and they're going to release a Cube Black Plus which has the new IMU sensors from the Cube Orange but the original FMU as part of the Cube Black. However, that isn't going to be widely available and the advice is to consider moving over to the new version in the future. For users who are looking at the Cube Blue, which was the American made version of the Cube Black, there's going to be again the hybrid updated version of that coming in the new future, future as well for those who want that one too. So if you are a system integrator, you are someone who has been using the Cube Black and your new builds moving forward, you're gonna want to consider getting on to one of the new models. And for me, I highly recommend moving over to the Cube Orange, unless you're a PX4 user and you want to actually look at the Cube Yellow which is F7 rather than H7 CPU. Now there are hopefully going to be a few other announcements coming in the future maybe around a new version of the Cube Orange for more professional users and I'll cover that as we hear more about that in the future as well. Overall that's pretty much it for this video. Now I'm going to try and get my hands on the new Here 3 as soon as I possibly can. The Here Pro should be available available in the near future as well for people, which again is that professional grade GPS unit, which has onboard power supply as well as RTK capable as well. And they will keep you updated with any other stuff that we hear about from them in the future too. Now, as I mentioned at the start, if you've liked what you've seen, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the links. If you're interested in buying any of the Cube Pilot system, please do check out 3DXR in the UK. They are a fantastic dealer that do keep all of this stuff in stock. And if you are looking to get your new Hue 3 unit, give them a shout. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Finally, if you'd like to support the channel, please do check out our Patreon page as well.